Hey fams, welcome back to another Positive Vibes. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I know it's early, it's 7.30 in the morning, um, but I just really wanted to get this Bible study done um, early because I do have quite a few things to do today i.e. taxes <laughs> um but i just wanted to bring you a quick study it's not going to be long but i kind of just want to piggyback off of what um push tuesdays was all about for healing physical healing and every week i'm kind of going to be sticking to um healing for the next three weeks uh during push and doing positive vibes so that you can kind of get you know, a understanding or feeling of knowing that healing on all different levels belongs to us as believers. So I just want to go ahead and get right into it. This is going to be a two part today. I'm going to be talking about healing and also focusing on God, because when we focus on him, we realize that everything that we need is in him. Okay, so let's go ahead and pray about it and ask, invite the Holy Spirit to come in and give us wisdom and blow our minds. Father God, we come to you this morning, Lord Jesus, and we just praise you. We thank you for waking us up, God. We thank you for giving us another day, Lord God. We know that it is because of you why we live, move, and breathe and have our being, God. So Father, we ask that right now that you enter into this Bible study, Lord God, and make your presence be known, Lord Jesus. Father, give us the understanding, the wisdom, Lord God, that we need to hear your word, to understand your word, and to apply your word to our lives. Father God, let us understand also, Lord God, that healing belongs to us on many levels. You gave your life and you live again so that we may live the abundant life, Lord God, and that we may have full prosperity, Lord God, nothing missing, nothing lacking. And so, Father God, we just thank you, Lord Jesus, oh God, we praise you, we bless your holy name, in Jesus' name, amen. Again, I'm going from my devotional, Jesus Calling by Sarah Young, and y'all know how I feel about this devotional. So today is January 29th, and we're talking about keeping focus on God and also healing, because it kind of go, you know, it goes hand in hand. So it reads here, keep your focus on me. I have gifted you with amazing freedom including the ability to choose the focus point of your mind. Only the crown of my creation has such remarkable capability. This is a sign of being made in my image. Let the goal of this day be to bring every thought captive to me. Whenever your mind wonders, lasso those thoughts, lasso, you know what I'm saying? Bring it in. Bring those thoughts in and bring them into my presence. In my radiant light, anxious thoughts shrink and shrivel away. Judgmental thoughts are unmasked and you bask in my unconditional love. Confused ideas are untangled while you rest in the simplicity of my peace. There goes that word again. I will guard you and keep you in constant peace as you focus your mind on me. And I'm going to give you a couple of scriptures. I'm not going to read the scriptures fully, but I do want to go into the healing scriptures. So Psalms 8 verse 5, Genesis 1, 26 through 27, 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5, and Isaiah 26 verse 3. It talks about keeping your eyes stayed on God, keeping your eyes stayed on him and he will keep you in perfect peace. Okay. So as we keep our eyes stayed on God and we stay in him and we lasso those thoughts of, you know, anxiety, we lasso those thoughts of sickness, we lasso those thoughts of diseases, whatever the devil, you know, tells you, oh, you're never going to be anything, or you're never going to be healed, or you're never going to be strong again, or you're never going to be well, you're never going to be whole. The Bible says to lasso, well, here says to lasso those thoughts and bring them into his presence. That means that when you bring them into his presence, 
He's going to deal with it. You don't have to deal with it, right? So we bring everything to him and he is going to completely, completely get them out your way, right? So we have some healing scriptures here and I'm basically, I'm going from, um, I have my cell phone here. <laughs> um, I, I use a study tools. I also use Bi Bible gateway and uh it talks about scriptures about physical healing it is evidenced through the old testament and new testament scripture that god does have the power to heal our physical bodies miraculous healing still happens today it absolutely does use these bible verses to talk about god and your pain and fill your heart with hope okay so the first one, the first scripture is taken from Jeremiah 17, verse 14. And it says to heal me, O Lord, I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved for you are the one I praise. So now Jeremiah here is talking about God. If you heal me, I will be healed. If you save me, I will be saved, right? So if God heals us, we will be completely and totally healed. I want to give you a testimony. I used to have asthma really, really bad. When I was a kid, I used to be in the hospital all the time. And I used to be in like a little incubator. And I always had problems breathing. Um, I couldn't really run too much. I couldn't really play too much. And I grew up in Jamaica. So we were surrounded by a lot of dirt and trees. And so I always had um, problems breathing as a kid and always had like asthma attacks and I remember coming home now fast forward years and years later I remember coming home well not coming home but I remember I was in college and it was a day it was a spring springtime day it was still kind of it was the middle the middle of March but it's still a little little chilly 